Du denkst, man rennt. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. So this is the lecture video on data structures, data structures and its applications. So in today's class, we are going to deal with the last topic of the module three. So module three, we have seen linked list. So inside linked list, we have gone with the three types of link, uh, three types of linked list. So first one, singly linked list, doubly linked list, and next you have gone with a doubly linked list, circular doubly linked list, and all. So in that we have seen insert operation, the insert at the beginning, middle, and end, and deletion at the beginning, middle, and end. So in the last class we have gone with the applications. So applications of the linked list. So in application of linked list, first we have gone with a polynomial. So poly adding and multiplication of the polynomial that we have seen in the previous class. So in today's class, we see the another application. So another application is insertion sort. So insertion sort is one of the example that we have re that is required and it is considered as application of linked list. So what do you mean by sort? So anyone can tell what is sort? So what is the meaning of sort? Can anyone explain, tell what is the meaning of sort? Yes, you are correct. So sort means you are arranging the elements from ascending order to descending order. So arranging the elements. So in that technique now we shall say what is insertion sort. So sorting means arranging the elements from small ascending to ascending order. So that we call it as a smaller ascending from smaller elements to larger elements that we call it as a sorting. So in that now we shall see the one type of the sorting technique and that we call it as a insertion sort. So insertion sort in that we will go through two concepts one is algorithm logic and demo, the other one is program. Okay, so algorithm that we shall see. So see, this is the diagram that will explain the insertion sort execution. So first you see, this is an unsorted array. Okay, so it is a unsorted, it is unsorted because you are having all the random numbers in it. So now you have to sort each and every elements. So first you see what is the numbers you are having. This is the initial, first initial positions. So when now you compare first element with the second element, if the second element is smaller than the first element, so what you will do, if the, keep in your mind, if the second element is smaller than the first element, what you will do, you will exchange the elements. So sec first element is, so first element is four and second element First element is four and second element is three. So as four is greater, four is greater than three. So now you are going with a X. So four is exchanged. So four is exchanged. So that's why you will be getting three three will come here and four will come here. Now you see, now you have to compare the what is the next element. After three, now you are having two. So two is now checked with three and two is now checked with four. As you have two is lesser than three and two is lesser than four. So what you will do, you will place the two, two, 
first position so 2 is compared with 3 okay so as 2 is lesser than 3 2 will come here 3 will go there so similarly 2 is compared with 4 so now you have 2 is swapped so that's why we get 3 4 and 2 so when you compare 2 with 4 and 3 2 comes here now you see what is the next element 10 is 10 lesser than this three elements so keep in your mind when you go with a swap so when when the n nth element is lesser than n minus 1th element so at that time you go now you see what is the element you are having it is 10 so 10 is greater than 4 10 is greater than greater than 4 10 is greater than 3 10 is greater than 2 so that's why we keep as 10 is greater than all the elements we keep it as it is no change will be there so come for the next element next element is 12 now you see 12 is greater than 10 greater than 4 greater than 3 greater than 2 as it is greater there is no moment if it is lesser then you keep moving now you see there is an element 1 so as the element 1 is there now you see one is greater no one is lesser than 12 so one comes here one is lesser than 10 one comes here one is lesser than 4 one comes here one is lesser than 3 one comes here one is lesser than 2 one comes here that's why we have given here it as 1 okay so 1 2 3 4 you are having followed with 10 and 12 now what is the next element 5 so 5 is been checked 5 is lesser than 12 so swap 5 will come here 5 is lesser than 10 so 10 5 will come here 5 is come with the next element so 5 is greater than 4 so keep as it is so where the 5 will come 5 will come in place of 10 so come for the last element you have 6 6 is lesser than 12 swap 6 is lesser than 10 swap 6 is greater than 5 so you stop and that's why this is the insertion sort execution you will be getting now you come for the algorithm so this is the demo i have taken so uh, now you come for the algorithm what's an algorithm algorithm is say steps it's a group of steps for used to perform a com used to perform an operation okay so that we call it as insert algorithm step 1 if it is a first element it is already started sorted then return 1 okay so if the list is already sorted that means while giving the values while giving the values you have given it as in arranged in sorted manner only that is like 1 2 3 4 if you give like that so what it will return it will return it as 1 so if not next pick the next element okay so first element it has taken if it is 1 no sort it will return 1 pick the next element now you compare first element with the next element so that's why we are telling here compare with all elements in sorted sublist so compare with all the elements okay so when you are going to shift when it is greater keep in your mind shift all the elements that is greater than the value to be sorted so when you go with a come for here so when you replace so when 2 is this is the sub list okay so when 2 is lesser than this thing so what you will do you will go with a sorting that's why we have taken shift all the elements in the sorted sub list that is greater than the value okay so next you go with a insert the value okay so and repeat now you come for the program so this is the program used to perform the insertion sort okay so program is written the program is written in so program is written in 
say language so first you go with a two data files one is stdio.h so stdio.h is considered for a standard input output so it is considered for standard input output so that will support so i have told you that will support so it will support scanf and printf functions it will support scanf and printf functions next we have one with a std lib std lib will support exit and return functions so it will support exit and return functions okay so this is the now our program will start with main okay so under main you have taken an array and x x is the iterator variable so keep in your mind array will read n number of values so array how many values are there that will take the index variable so keep this one it is index variable so then you come with a total so total means how many numbers you are giving so total means total number of elements in the list so print f how many numbers so stand f percent d and percent dot so for dot means total numbers what you give so in our example what is the total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so now in our total so you can tell you can tell dot is equal to 8 so for all that you are going to allocate so x is the array so x will range from x of 0 to x of 7 so i less than dot so total elements are 8 so x is equal to 0 x less than 8 x plus plus so i enter each and every element so entering reading the read all element so read all the elements by using scanf okay so all the elements will be sorted from x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 up to x of 7 now i call a function insert so this is called as a calling function so calling function that will take two parameters array with total all the elements so once that is once that one so once that one will be considered as insert of array comma dot so this is the calling function so now you go with a sorted array so what is a sorted array so once you get all once you got all the values are sorted so now you print okay so now the control will move from calling function to call function so calling function is insert of array comma dot so this one is called as a called function so this is the called function so in that i will go with the two parameters x y and picked okay so x y and picked x is the iterator variable x is equal to 1 x less than size so picked element is a of x now you assign y is equal to x now you start comparing so a of y minus 1 so first element is y second element is y minus 1 third element y minus 2 so if a of y is greater than picked so picked element is first element if second element is greater than first element so picked is first element so this one is so i am telling you understand it is first element so a of y minus 1 means so here it is second element so second element is greater than first element so and y is greater than 0 what you will do you will put first element now the first uh, second element is placed in first location so this will tell second element is put in first location so that we can tell like this okay so a of y is equal to a of y minus 1 what is a of minus 
If second element is greater than first element, what you will put? Second element is put in first location. So you can tell it first location. Okay. So similarly, y minus minus. So this is the logic. So what is the main logic? If second element is greater than first element, what you will do? You will insert the second element in first location. So that's why there is no swapping. Here we will directly insert the second element in the first location. So that's why we call it as a insertion sort. So insertion sort means we are placing the second element directly in place of first element and make a of y is equal to picked. Okay, so second element is a of y and a of y is now being picked. Okay, so after this, now you print the sorted array. So sorted array, you start from the zeroth location up to total x plus plus. You are printing all the elements. Uh, you can take it as percent d also, no matter percent d array of x. So then you go with return of zero. Okay, so this is the program what you will be taking for insertion sort technique. Understood? So it is one of the insertion sort technique. Okay, so now you come here. This is the next question. So total number of comparison in insertion sort for n elements. So can anybody can answer total number of comparisons for n. So now you see in our example, you go for this example. What is n value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in our example, you have n is equal to 8. Okay. So total comparisons is equal to, now you have to see. So when you, it is n, 8 elements. So first comparison with 4 and 3. Next comparison, 2 with 4 and 2 with 3. So how many comparisons? 1 comparison, 2 comparison, 3 comparison. After that, now you see, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th comparison, next 9th, 10th, next 11th, 12th. So totally you have gone with, uh, if there are in 8 elements, we have gone with 12 comparison. If there are 8, so if there are eight elements, so total number of comparison is equal to 12. So can you represent for n elements? So for n elements, what can, how you represent the comparison? Comparison is equal to, if there are eight elements, you can go with 12 comparisons. Is it correct? So see here, three is compared with four, first comparison. Second comparison, two is compared with three, two is compared with four. So how many comparisons? Two comparisons here. So here, one comparison, here, two comparison. Next you see, next you are having 10. So 10 is been compared with four, 10 is been compared with, sorry, sorry, so you have to compare and keep, okay? So first comparison, here two comparisons. So here 10 with four, 10 with three, 10 with two. So here three comparisons. So here 10 with 12 with 10, four, three, two. Here four comparison and here one, two, three, four, five comparison. So here, here you see one, two, three, three comparisons. So, so here one, two, that is one plus two, three, three plus four, three plus four, seven, seven plus, the here seven plus four, 11, 11 plus five, 11 plus five is 16. Next you compare 16, 
seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. This one, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So when there is, so sorry, it is twenty-two comparisons totally. So if there is eight elements, there are twenty-two comparisons. So so what you can tell, you can represent it as two power n. So what is two power? Sorry. So that you have to represent here. So if there are eight compare eight elements, total number of comparisons depends. So comparison depends on unsorted array. So this is the answer for this. Depends on number of elements. So if there are eight elements in arranging order, no comparisons can be done. So if it is in descending order, then you can compare. So it depends on how the saw array is sorted. So this is the concept on this insertion sort. So after the insertion sort, now you go with the references. This are the prescribed book. What you can uh, see there. So you can also go with the reference concepts. Have you understood? Have you understood? So this will be up to module three, end of module three. So in the next uh, next coming classes, you go with a uh, module four. Okay, I hope you all got understood. So this video will be pl placed in the YouTube. You can subscribe to my channel and you can uh, easily go through understand the concepts. So thank you.